Hi guys! A lot of people have been writing to me and asking for um, an all natural face care, uh, not tutorial, but just like what I do. Um, I try to do as many things with as least chemicals as possible. Um, if you watch my nail tutorial, which I'm just now uploading, um, it's just using regular nail polish, but just trying to, view, to avoid a few especially dangerous chemicals, but luckily on my face, I pretty much use um, all natural stuff. So I have something that I've been doing for a long time, so um, I feel comfortable sharing that with you all. Um, I haven't really had really bad acne. I think the first thing that you need to do if you do have acne is drink a ton of water, eat healthy, eat um, you know real ingredients, and just try to make the inside of your body really healthy, which can't hurt if it doesn't work for your acne. Um, but I mean, I have had it on occasion and um, up until like a few months ago, I I had it pretty often, not bad, but um, it's been getting better, thankfully, since I'm getting older. Um, but what I do is I wash my face. So I have several products here, which are from the company called DaVita and I love most of their stuff. It's kind of expensive, but I'm going to put a link in the, in the description box to a website called Lucky Vitamin um, where you get it for like half off. Um, I used to buy it in the health food store, but I felt really stupid doing that when I found how much cheaper it was. And I tried a lot more of their items once I found that. So my face wash, my face wash is this aloe vera moisture cleanser. Um, and this is really nice. It's just like feels fancy. Um, but it smells good, but it's really just light. Um, it's not like it doesn't suds up a lot because it doesn't have, um, what is it? I don't remember the word because I don't have it in my stuff anymore. Sodium lauryl sulf sulfate, which, um, isn't good for you, but it's used really often as a sudsing agent and in case you don't know if you're ever looking at the ingredients on anything um supposed to be the ingredients that it starts out with or what it has the most of and then going down toward the end so this one's first ingredient is aloe vera gel um and it just looks like <laughs> it looks like liquid i don't want to waste it but it just looks like sort of like light soap it's not, um, it just smells sort of like fresh leaves or like mint or something. Um, it's not like a really thick soap that's gonna like scrub, oh, I just said like so many times, you know, gonna scrub grease off your face. But, um, it's really nice. It doesn't leave your face dry and feel like, oh, now you have to like put on a ton of lotion again. Um, I love it. And this is my first bottle and it's like down to there. And I've had this for almost a year. So you really don't need a lot either. All right, they make a toner also, which is the Moroccan Rose Facial Toner, which I like it, but I just sort of try to keep everything simple with everything I do. So um, it's just easier for me not to use this. It's nice, but it's, Probably like $14, which I think was a discounted price. Um, and this, just plain rose water, which you can also get at your health food store, it's like $6. And it's not as astringent as this one is, but I just love this one. Um, <laughs> it's really nice if you feel like in Florida, everything gets really humid and it gets really yucky. So I just go like this. Um, and that can also help set your makeup. They have a lot of really expensive makeup setters, but if you just use this, um, it does the same thing. And it smells delicious because I freaking love roses so much. But yeah, I'd recommend this over this. Unless you love using toner and astringent and you, you specifically want that. I also have this of theirs, which is a C serum, and I didn't really get through it that much. It, um, it's sort of exfoliates your skin while you're resting or something you leave it on but 
Mm, it just wasn't my favorite. Um, I just don't like using a lot of like mysterious things like serums and stuff that I don't really know what it is. And I feel like uh, I can do a lot better by actually knowing what I'm using. But then sometimes I get crazy and I'm like, oh, I need this in order to look like Cinderella or something. Um, so what I do actually to exfoliate my face is I take honey and this is uh, local honey. Um, I use this for everything. I use it to give my dogs when they have allergies, which I should probably do a video about. I use it to put in my tea all the time. Um, and I use it on my face. So I actually put this directly on my face. And this is how much I love this honey. Is that I have this. I went ahead and bought the huge one. And I refill it into this one. Because I just go through it so fast. But um, I put this on my face. And I'll just do something like watch a YouTube video. And then um, put your hair back. And you'll look really creepy. You look like you're turning into a zombie. Because like it looks like really thick sweat is coming out all over your face. And then just get a little bit of sugar, go into the shower, and then I just scrub around with the sugar and it exfoliates your face and it's gentle. Um, a lot of scrubs have broken up like walnut pieces or apricot pieces and I've heard that that is actually rougher on your face, but sugar is fine. You can use salt too, but it's not as fine. Um, and then just wash it off and your face feels so good. I love doing that. Um, Okay, and then there are two lotions that I have. If you like SPF, some people think, oh, I never want to use SPF. I don't know uh, what's in it. I don't think it's necessary. Some people say I use it religiously. Yeah, I started using uh, like a sunscreen in my daily moisturizer because I live in Florida and I just think that I'm in the sun a lot and I want to protect my skin. Um, so this one, there's not a lot of sunscreens that are non-chemical so there's two different kinds of sunscreens one is um something sunscreen <laughs> dang it like it makes a chemical barrier and then there's physical sunscreen which makes a physical barrier so it just blocks the sun from burning you which is supposed to be safer and also if you use a lot of regular sunscreen there's a lot of problems with people using too much sunscreen and then it washing off in the ocean and it actually damages coral reefs and things like that because it keeps the coral from synthesizing the sunlight. So if you're going to use sunscreen, zinc is a really good, um, it's a really good option. So the only sunscreen in this is zinc, zinc oxide 19%. Um, and I just love this. I found it in Hawaii and you can get it at health food stores. Um, but I, again, I'll put the link for you guys for the cheaper place. Um, I just love it so much. It just makes your skin feel so good. It's not greasy. It's just the perfect thing for my skin. And I, I get distracted by products a lot. So a lot of times I'll be trying a lot of different things, but this is just what I use religiously and I've used it for probably three years. Um, and then I use this one, Evening Rich Nutritional Moisturizer, at night or if I don't need sunscreen or if it's winter and I want something a little heavier. They also have like a daytime moisturizer that doesn't have sunscreen and my mom has that one. Um, but yeah, this one, it just feels really good too. I don't like... Like, sometimes I walk through the mall and I see the Estee Lauder ads and I think, oh my gosh, look, you know, you spend this much and then you get all these things, these gifts, and they're so pretty and fancy. But every time that I end up getting it, I regret it because then I look at the ingredients and it's like mineral oil. It comes from petrol. And just all these ingredients that you think, how can this possibly be so expensive when it's just all this synthetic junk? Um, and then my skin ends up breaking out, so I just stick with these things that I know what they are. Um, that is pretty much all for this one. Um, if you guys have any questions or any other specific things that you'd like me to talk about, please comment. Oh, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day, and I hope you like this tutorial thing, review, video.
video. Um, and I hope that you watch my nail video, which I just did a little while ago. Ta-da! Which I just uploaded. So, have a wonderful day. And now I'm just rambling on, so bye!